Yo, what up guys, the Eric here bringing you guys a gameplay commentary, and uh, yo, I didn't post yesterday, did I post the day before, I'm not sure, but anyway, I've been super busy, I work, I don't know, I work from 3 to 8 yesterday, 3 to 8 today, today tomorrow 4 to 9, so I don't even think there'll be a video, but guys, I kind of get it when people are always like, you know, oh my god, I don't got time in my life, I literally had no time, but you know, I post when I can, and today I was on, so... I decided to give you guys a short commentary and I kind of want to talk about more IRL stuff, real life, you know, hashtag real life, help you out. Anyway, uh, I want to talk about something that, you know, in high school and, you know, in high school pretty much you find out a lot of things. You find a lot of things about people, what kind of people you want to avoid and that kind of stuff. And, you know, my goal is to, anything I learn about life or anything I learn about, you know, moving through life, I want to share it with you guys. So, you know, of course people have to make their own mistakes, but you're going to have that background knowledge. You're going to have that source that you can you know, go to in times when you run into the same things I do. So anyway, let's get straight into it. Now, you know, a lot of the time friends turn to enemies, you know what I mean? Like you never think about it. When someone's your friend, you can't possibly see them as being your enemy one day. But like, you know, this this quotes have been used like describing this all the time. I can't really think of one. Uh keep your enemies close and you something closer. Anyway, yeah, so pretty much like friends will turn to enemies all the time, okay? It just happens, things happen, random things you can't control and really all I'm trying to say guys is make sure you know your friends and first of all know who is really your friend right and when I say know who's really your friend uh, say you're in a group of friends you got six or seven friends right and one time you got in an argument with one friend and for some reason three or four of your friends were on his side from now it doesn't matter if it was three years ago you need to remember that those people were willing to turn on you you know what i mean and just never forget when people screw you over really is what i'm saying now i'm not saying to not forgive but you know people say forgive and you forget but truthfully forgiving and forgetting leads you to freaking just getting hit with the same kind of thing so yeah you can forgive people you can be chill with them you can be everything like that but just remember hey now, one time I got an argue with him, this dude screwed me over, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Just pretty much know your friends. And not only that, understand what kind of people your friends are to their enemies. Because you never know. Like I said, friends become enemies, things happen, and, you know, all the flaws in your friends that you used to accept, they become something that annoy you or something that you're against. And, you know, you need to know how your friends act towards their enemies just so you know, you know what I mean? Do I want to be this guy's friend? If your friend is a you know compulsive liar to other people, he, you don't know when he's lying to you. You know what I mean. If your friend, you know what I mean, hacks his ex girlfriend's Twitter and posts bad stuff about her just because, you know, I mean, he doesn't like her anymore. That or they broke up. He that's grimy. Like that literally says something about his character. And if you actually know the facts and situations and that kind of stuff, you really want to watch who you have around you. So anyway, uh, I mean, pretty much what I'm saying is watch your friends, guys, know who's your friends, and don't be too hesitant to cut people off when you need to. Hope this helps you guys out, and uh, anyway, signing out.